With the 2024 legislative session starting Monday, state leaders are previewing issues lawmakers plan to address, like fairness in medical debt. There's many different types of debt. Credit card debt to buy a television is one thing. Debt because you had a heart attack or were hit by a car or have an illness is an entirely different thing. Today, Governor Tim Walz and Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan shared their support for the Minnesota Debt Fairness Act. The bill was developed by Attorney General Keith Ellison, as well as state legislators. If passed, it would ban medical debt from being reported to credit bureaus, reduce interest on medical debt to 0%, and ban the withholding of medical services due to unpaid debt. Now, that is just one of many bills that will be introduced when lawmakers start the new session Monday, and they could have a big impact on the 2024 elections. Yeah, so what will DFLers do for an encore after an historic and expensive 2023 session. Chief political reporter Tom Hauser is here with a look ahead for us. Tom? Yeah, that is a big question, Kevin. Our recent KSTP Survey USA polling showed that most Minnesotans approved of major legislation like paid family and medical leave and legalizing recreational marijuana. But the same survey shows disapproval for huge spending increases, along with a mix of tax increases that hit almost every Minnesotan. The House stands adjourned. After an historic and controversial 2023 legislative session under a DFL trifecta in the House, Senate, and Governor's office, it's time for an encore in 24. Democrats divvied up a $17.5 billion surplus with a mix of big spending increases, tax cuts in some areas, tax increases in others, along with small rebates. Former DFL party chair Brian Melendez calls it a success but says Democrats need to be careful this year. I think this year the Democrats need to be strategic again and make sure that they do leave some money in the pot and make sure that they are not pushing initiatives that most Minnesotans are not on board with. I think they did a good job last year of threading that needle. If they can do it again, then, then they may be headed for another majority. I don't think there's any doubt they have and they will continue to overreach. That's who they are. Republican analyst Annette Meeks anticipates more extreme legislation in 24. They spent the entire budget surplus. They raised taxes in a multitude of ways, including some of the most onerous taxes on average families, gas taxes, things like that. But more importantly, they promised so much to so many that they've now put us in a structural deficit. The two analysts agree pursuing a bill making Minnesota a sanctuary for undocumented immigrants could cost Democrats on election day. They deluge the public services, the schools. Everyone uh, racks up massive expenses because of these people who come here with nothing. There are some noble impulses behind the idea of a sanctuary law. Doing it in an election year is maybe not the wisest move. I think if I were them, I would be more cautious about moving rapidly forward with this. Um, I think there could be some political blowback. Now, some details of that sanctuary proposal were unveiled this week. You can see more analysis of the upcoming legislative session Sunday morning at 10 o'clock on At Issue. Live in the newsroom, Tom Hauser, 5 Eyewitness News.